What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and today, by popular demand, I'm giving you guys another Pokemon Nintendo Switch discussion video. Now, I've been tempted to do tons of these videos for every single little piece of leaked information that we've been getting for the Nintendo Switch Pokemon game. Now, I say leaks, take that with a grain of salt, because nothing is final not even this box art look at this box art it looks so like it wouldn't be a pokemon box art yeah i'm, I'm making a joke obviously i'm being sarcastic this is not the final <laughs> box art obviously for the pokemon game but it's listed up on a tons of websites i just wanted to put it here just to show you guys if you haven't seen it guys 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 do not believe everything you see on the internet but you guys want me to talk about it so here's basically that and we gotta start from way back because there's been a lot of stuff that I've been wanting to dive in but I couldn't because of personal issues and stuff that I was going through at the time I kind of stepped away from YouTube but now I'm jumping back in if that makes any sense so let's check these quote-unquote leaks out now the one I want to talk about the most actually is this image here this image of basically a trainer riding on what it looks like to be a Lapras inside of a route that is familiar to a place in Kanto. Now, when I first seen this, I was like, yeah, this is fake because one, the person that is riding on the Lapras looks like it's holding Lapras around his neck and there's clearly no quote unquote pokey gear on the Lapras. Mind you, this could just be early sprite work from the Pokemon Switch game. So that is entirely possible that this is just early work. And then also something that I spotted out that very easily to spot out is that you see the Pokemon in the overworld and then that that could probably mean that you can encounter these pokemon while you you know surfing or whatever the case may be you see tender crew and stuff like that to me this kind of looks like what the pokemon sprites that they use especially for the water sprites that they use for the mantine surf so once i saw that tender crew i was like this kind of looks like mantine surf pokemon the purplish pink fish, I kind of can't make out. Let me know in the comment section below what Pokemon you think that is. Then we also see another Tentacru in the back. And then in the far top right, you see like a gold fish. You can't really tell which one it is or what it could be. But let me know your thoughts and speculations on it in the comment section below. When I seen this, I was like, um, no. Like, it kind of looked like a good host, if anything. It looked like someone threw Sun and Moon into the emulator on the PC. I don't know. It kind of looked fake to me at first glance as seeing it. Then, you know, I, you know, was seeing a lot of you guys' feedback on Twitter, on Instagram, hell, even on Facebook. A lot of people were saying that these images look shocking if it were to be the Nintendo Switch game because, oh my God, it looks just like the Nintendo 3DS game. And I'm like, one, no, it does not look like the Nintendo 3DS game. It looks way better. And I'm like, dog, like if the Pokemon games look like this, that is 100% okay. That's 100% okay. Because that means they're what they're going to be doing and focusing on, hopefully, is bringing that experience of Pokemon and making it comfortable for the Nintendo Switch without just restarting everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not, you know, restarting the engine and having that be from scratch. Because if they were to do something like that, that would take forever. What I'm hoping is going on behind the scenes is they're taking all the assets and trying to throw it into Unreal Engine 4. Seeing how that works, how that plays around, and try to make that run butter smooth as possible. And from rumors and stuff like that, we kind of seen that that was the case with, again, them hiring people to work on Unreal Engine 4 back in a day also a lot of people were saying that this screenshot is extremely old and it brought me to the other idea that back when i believe last year anyway i did a video on pokemon stars and the discussion that easy allies had on pokemon stars and the rumors that were going around at the time and one of those members of Easy Allies said that he couldn't bring up an official source and can't credit anybody, but they have seen Pokemon Stars running, quote unquote Pokemon Stars, running on Nintendo Switch hardware. And he said at the time it was a port of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. It was not a brand new looking Pokemon game. And I was like, 
maybe this is what Pokemon stars were at that time. Maybe if this screenshot is indeed old, this is just what Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, quote unquote, Pokemon stars look like running on the Nintendo Switch. And, and to me, that's where I think I put this image, quote unquote, right on the nose. I think to me, it is what early development for Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch looks like. They took exactly what was running perfectly and fine on the 3DS engine while they were moving it over to the Unreal Engine, to Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch, to what that was gonna look like, what that was gonna play like, what that was gonna feel like. This is something that it looks like an idea or you know a, a starting point of what Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch is gonna look like. Them throwing ideas around again, like Pokemon you seeing in an open world, you know, you riding on a Pokemon like Lapras or whatever the case may be and what quote unquote Kanto would maybe look like in that engine. So that's that's my thoughts on it. I wouldn't take too much away from this image. I'm saying don't think that Pokemon is gonna take a leap within what, two years, three years of development time from what we got on the 3DS to what we're getting from Zelda Breath of the Wild <laughs> and the Mario Odyssey stuff on the Nintendo Switch. Don't think that they're gonna make that leap as fast as that. Hell, Zelda took five, six, years in the making so who knows on how long uh, we're gonna get to that point with the Pokemon franchise. Now moving along to another quote-unquote leak or whatever you want to call it of a Spanish or whatever magazine I didn't even bother to look it up of, the, of it saying that Basically, the next Pokemon game is gonna be an eighth generation Pokemon game coming out 2018. People are bringing this up to me like, dog, there's new Pokemon moves, it's confirmed for 2018. I'm like, no, 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 this doesn't mean that it's confirmed for 2018. They have Metroid Prime on the same page as this image. I'm like, come on, like, you guys cannot, cannot, cannot. A magazine can write whatever they want, inside information or not inside information. From what to me this says is that this magazine was covering the idea of Pokemon coming to the Nintendo Switch on 2018. Again, the idea of Pokemon coming to the Nintendo Switch in 2018, I don't think this confirms anything. Is it going to be 8th generation? Duh! I don't think they're going to do remakes and I don't think we're going to see the quote unquote Kanto remakes despite what we've seen in the last image. What I would hope they did is again if they were to do Kanto remakes is kind of include Kanto in the new generation or include the new generation and then also include areas that we can visit like maybe you are able to visit Palatown or whatever the case may be or and then you know visit certain parts of the world but who knows who knows who knows who knows right now let's let's wait until the pokemon company you know nintendo drop direct or drop information on the pokemon game let's not let's not deep dive into a spanish magazine saying that it's coming out in 2018. and then also lastly it's this pixel par with this bugaya thing what, what how you say bugaya 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 whatever it's a white whale Pixu Par is kind of confirming that this is indeed the fact that this is going to be the quote unquote project name for the Pokemon Nintendo Switch game. What that actually means is that in house, in development, when they're talking about the Pokemon Switch games, they're bringing up Bugeo or whatever, this whale. And that just means that's what they're calling. That doesn't mean anything for us. That doesn't mean that's the game legendary is gonna be a white whale. That doesn't mean anything. That just means that they're just what they're calling it in house. Now, as you can see, like uh, systems have code names, games have code names. There's tons of stuff that gets code names for release for protection. So people won't go around saying, hey, that you know the Pokemon game is getting this if they happen to get the email or whatever the case may be. So code name is Buyaga, Buyoga, whatever the whale name is um, I wouldn't take too much away for it pixel part is definitely someone you need to be following on Twitter if you want to stay up on the Pokemon quote-unquote leaks and information he or she has been correct before in the past so I'm not here to discredit them or anything I would say take it with a grain of salt and if I'm forgetting anything let me know in the comment section below it's pretty much it guys as far as Pokemon quote-unquote leaks and oh my god this is happening that's happening let me know your thoughts on everything 
everything in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fredo on Instagram and Twitter. You guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to have a ton of these Pokemon Nintendo Switch discussion videos until we get Nintendo Switch news, <laughs> Nintendo Switch Pokemon news. So the best way to catch all those videos is with a subscription. Also, ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next discussion video. And guys, please, salt, salt, take everything with a grain of salt.